I've found adaptations, ways to do my hair, put my hair in a ponytail, ways to cook, chop food in the kitchen. There isn't much Amy Copeland can't do despite having no hands or feet. She lost them three years ago after a bizarre ordeal that started with a swim and some zip lining in a backyard at Georgia Creek. It was actually my second go on the zip line when the line snapped and I fell into these sharp rocks below, um, severely cutting my left leg and about three days later realized I had been harboring this deadly bacteria the entire time and my left leg was quickly rotting. Amy spent weeks on life support. She doesn't remember much before waking up in rehabilitation. And I was removed from all the painkillers I was on and the reality of the situation, these are not growing back. <laughs> You're gonna have to figure out life in this body really sunk in and that was a very difficult time for me. But hers is a story of hope and perseverance. Today, Amy counsels other amputees. You know, when I go and, and mentor others who are going through the same difficulties, I really just try to feel them out as human beings, listen to what they have to say. When Amy heard about another woman from Gwinnett County fighting a similar bacteria, she reached out right away. When I meet Mrs. Martinez, what I say to her really just depends on how she presents. So. But Amy wants her and others to know that life gets better. It just takes some adjusting and a willingness to keep moving forward. I'm rolling with the punches, but I also have a general direction of things that I want to accomplish. So yeah, I'm very excited.